greetings all, praise the king, and welcome to Eyewitness, an unscripted source where we reason to discover truth, supporting the struggle for international justice. And we are speaking about professionalism. make it clear that we're unscripted, uh, that our source is free. Uh, we do not ask for any money, nor do we take money. Uh, when most everything that people see is led on, that people are incentivized, uh, they're hirelings, and they work for someone. And they can call themselves freelance, or they can come up with some other name. Uh, but re really what it comes to is that they actually take the command from some other man, uh, rather than their thoughts originating from themselves. This is the idea of this professionalism. You know, if you look at the root word, profess, They're selling something. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean it's true. It's just this is what they're carrying, the message. And these people have been chosen uh, by some authoritative body. It can also be referred to as titling. Um, so they've been given a license uh, to really profess that they are something. And normally this comes with a criteria uh, where they're accredited uh, to, you know, be uh, deserving of this status. In other words, through a university, you know, they're given this training, which they say now qualifies them. you know, to have this authority. Because now when they have the license, now they have an authority. You know, some people call it power. For example, if they're a doctor and they're given a license to practice uh, med med in the medicinal field, they can write prescriptions, this kind of power. If someone is called a officer, they now have the power uh, to put someone in jail. Um, if someone's called a judge, they have the power to keep that person there. Again, this is a title they've been given. Now, I've been brought, I brought out some of these uh, books of the separatists, uh, Robert Brown and Henry Barrow. Robert Brown, known for his book, um, A Reformation Without Tearing for Any, and uh, Henry Barrow is a brief discovery of, of the false church. Well, they spoke about this titling. Um, Henry Barrow had called it counterfeit. Uh, Robert Brown uh, saying that th these authorities had been given from the Antichrist. Uh, they speak about this, this Babylonian-ish. Um, authority and not that of Christ. 
um, in these in these manuscripts uh, Henry Barrow having drafted his from the fleet prison um, having had the pages smuggled out um, these uh, accounts were based on the church that they saw that <clears throat> the church of of England was a false church that, that it was being run by these powers that did not have legitimate legitimate authority well you see this says that we don't really subscribe to what they do um, whereas without the inverted com um, commas you would have a real authority you might even capitalize the A to signify its um, blessing or its sanctification from Lord so it is about who who sanctifies us who shows us worthy yeah and this structure that they have does the sanctification even in the church you see so they were opposed the separatists were opposed to this because they realized these authoritative bodies were not really anointed um, today it's a business you know uh, universities it's a sports team now people wearing it on their jerseys this was originally a place where people would go and learn and even they were able to discuss certain things now if you like the license you go through this particular path to obtain it and people don't really ask questions you know it's obviously done at an academic level and like as people rise up through this the structure um they they began to develop a stake for example they've been going to the university for four years yeah they went to the high school before that they listened to the teachers you know they got the report card they did as good as they could and they've now developed they've they put their time and energy into something so this is where their investment is and now they felt like wow I gotta make the most of it and by that time they've been basically thrown on this highway to to Babylon and they're saying you know this is the way to go now they by the time they may realize what they're really involved in they they're already too deep, they're already too far down the road. So this is the idea, like people don't, when they get to college in the 18, they now are supposed to decide what they want to be in life. Yeah. And you've got so many, how many options? Used to be that people had trades. The people involved in making something. You had a blacksmith, you know, you had a carpenter, yeah, you had a mason. You had these occupations that people would learn, they'd be trained to do, and they'd go into, and then they could work and trade amongst each other. Well, the world's different today. Um, the trades are no longer seen as professionals. Instead, you have your doctors, your lawyers, you know, your professors. This is something of interest because is a teacher necessarily considered professional? Most people may say yes, but really in their world, with the world classes, they only consider college level be true professionals.
you have you do have uh, certain officers they're at the very bottom but they've given, been given that much power that there's no way to deny that they're professionals in their world now again when you say that word professional people always think that this is a credible person this is somebody who uh, has something worth listening to and really when you look at how these practices are governed these people are not making the decisions on their own for example if you if you have a research paper you're you know and you you're one of these world-class elites you're, you're going to contact one of these professors and say, hey, we'd like for you to put your input into this. The professor will probably use the students to do most of the work. Uh, but he's going to use his name, his title, his status <clears throat> as a professional to be trustworthy to the reader. Uh, these are the ones that are sometimes considered in the upper class. It's not all of them. But again, the idea is that there's certain people on the earth that are more worth listening to. That they got it together. You have engineers. They're also in the professional class. Engineers are necessary and they may be one of the least to blame. Uh, but this is a particular class, and therefore it exists on a level. So when you examine kind of the structure of the world, and we tend to think of it as the Tower of Babel. As the tower was built, uh, those um, rulers always sought to occupy the, the highest levels. This gave them the sight, the insight into the populations. The populations are on the structure as to not see what it is that these people are doing up here. But these people are in position to see what the populations are doing. And these people sit somewhere in the middle, you see? If they form a barrier, an obstruction of visibility between the lower classes and the upper class and they do it by selling their system their structure of rule this is what we're speaking about here it's the monkey law it has no real foundation it's just grabbing on to limbs and swinging these folks exists to sell this rule to keep the masses the masses of the planet oppressed on the bottom and they're given the title to do so from these world class leaders professionalism professionalism Most of these folks really don't really know what's going on, except for in their little worlds, you see? And they consider themselves to be this. They wake up and look at themselves in the mirror and they say, I'm a lawyer, or I'm a doctor. You know, you if you meet these people, they got the title on their card, MD, Esquire, you know, a doctor, such and such. Even these people will not call themselves misters, they'll call themselves officers. They set themselves, they set themselves to a higher standard. It's not like Jah has put them in this place to rule over others, and yet they have anointed themselves. The separatists who formed a 
part part of the body that boys to the Newfoundland, which is now considered to be the United States of America, did not see this as legitimate. Uh, they 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 would not accept this these rulers as official. Robert Brown, having been in the Church of England and having rose into higher ranks, had the first insight uh, for himself to see where the, the, the rule uh, came from, that it was a Roman, as described Babylonianish rule governed by the Antichrist. At that time, being the Pope of the Church of Rome. You see, the Church of Rome uh, became this world, the world of professionalism. This was the origin of it. And the separatists knew this.